Hi everyone, we are in Copenhagen, Denmark for the Delo Industry Days 2023 and now we are going to focus on the future patrol vessel of the Royal Danish Navy. We are with Hans Schneider, the CEO of the Danish Patrol Vessel Consortium. Hans, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can you please first tell us about that uh, consortium, what is its role? The consortium is, uh, you can say, the industry, the Danish industry's reply on the request from the Danish Defence actually to be able to deliver a fully uh, operational and ready for combat uh, patrol vessels uh, in the future. And we have uh, three uh, major players uh, have joined forces. It's uh, Terma, it's uh, OMT and it's, um, it's a big pension fund. Pension Denmark, uh, they have joined and made this consortium and we are basically uh, capable of delivering these vessels to the Danish Navy. The requirement is for how many ships? Uh, we, we don't know that definitely yet, it's, uh, in the end of the day it's a political decision, but uh, our uh, work uh, hypothesis is, is uh, more than six ships. What is the current status of the program? Uh, the program is that we just before the summer holiday signed a, um, a two-year contract with uh, the Danish Defence for a feed-in project where we're going to make all the detailed design and, and uh, evaluation of construction methods before we start, uh, hopefully start uh, physical production uh, in two and a half, three years from now. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the specifications of those uh, of those vessels, uh, like the, the, their size, crew complement, performance figures? Yes, the, the vessels is actually uh, going to replace uh, three quite different vessel types uh, in in the current Danish Navy. Uh, these vessels are not; it's not going to replace like a one-to-one, -one, but they are they are they should have the possibility to solve a lot of the tasks, which include. Um, possibility for handling environmental um, crisis uh, if we have a, a big um, uh, pollution in, in, in the sea. Uh, it's also going to be a compact vessel uh, and of course it should have, uh, you can say, a more civil task like uh, supporting uh, the civil authorities in Denmark. And for that uh, purpose uh, we, uh, we are building a modular vessel which uh, not necessarily can do everything at one time but it can be changed over time to have specific tasks which it's good at. And, um, and we, are, we are building on the experience on this model uh, concept, a uh, modular concept from the, from the Stanflex uh, series uh, nearly uh, 20, 30 years ago uh, in, in Denmark. And, and that's, um, this is, you can say, the ground base of the vessels. And uh, they will be uh, plus 90 meters long. Uh, they will be 18 meters wide. It's a wide beam design. Not the particularly high speed uh, in relation to a, um, uh, um, uh, to a Navy vessel, but it's uh, plus 18 knots, um, but with a very high payload uh, for the size of this vessel, it'll be uh, more than a thousand tons, which is quite high. And we expect we will achieve uh, close to 40 uh, modular positions of a, a 20 feet uh, container units uh, within the vessel. Oh, that's uh, that's unmatched for any military vessels uh, currently uh, sailing at sea. It's uh, we are we are pushing the boundaries for the for the modular concept, and we think it's the future because, uh, of course, for a country like Denmark, this is a big investment, and we need to make sure that these vessels, first of all, can handle the, the task right in front of them, but also that they are prepared to be changed, without changing the vessel, but basically only changing the models. Uh, into the future when the, when, uh, when the tasks are changing over time. Because the lifetime of a vessel like this is uh, around 30 years, so that's, uh, that's quite important. Last but not least, uh, Hans, uh, will you look at exporting uh, this uh, vessel design? Currently our main task is to deliver, deliver uh, vessels to the, to the Danish Navy. Uh, we need them and, and are looking forward to them. But uh, we think uh, the concept uh, has big potential and we are pretty sure that also other nations would be interested in, in, in this uh, particular concept. Very well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.